Kitty, mm -hmm. which is it gonna be? Well, we could avoid this problem, kind of, if you told the people going through five to examine the body. Mm, you, I mean, you kind of could, mm -hmm. but can you trust them, though? Well, no, but then mm -hmm. we could blame them when we got out the other side and be like, did you examine the body, you fuckers? Assuming I, we meet at the other side. I, I mean, I mean, you're assuming a lot of things right now. This mm -hmm. is a branching path right here in the story. Mm -hmm. Well, do, I figure do, that would make it a little less... Do you want any sort of hints? No? No. No, no that's good. All right. Uh, let's go organic or my first run. Uh, so, you want to go... Uh, I mean, because you could go and inspect the body. I mean, it, you would have to make Jun look at it. But, I mean, that's done and done. Or you can just let someone else look at it. Maybe poke the body a little bit with a stick. I don't poke, know. Poke. Yeah, it's and just... go with Santa and, and freaking Lotus. I mean, you have to make your choices. So, um... Uh, Let's just go through four. You're gonna set to go through four? Let's go through four. Hey there. Welcome back to Dango Duo Plays 999. Kitty's gonna do it. I'm going oh. through four. All right. Decided, decided that door four would be fine. He would go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. Why had Junpei even considered doing otherwise? I mean, I thought about it. He would be there for June, for Akane Kurashiki. Mm. That seemed good. He felt it was the right choice to make. Mm. He made no shows of affection, but Junpei saw her as something more than just a friend from his childhood. A special friend from his mm. childhood. He watched the other four walk towards their door. Ace, Snake, Clover, and Seven. Junpei said nothing as they left. Before long, they had reached door five. They talked to one another for a few seconds, saying things Junpei couldn't hear, and then laid their hands, one by one, on the scanner panel of the red. Red dead. <gasps> beep, beep, beep. Ace grabbed the lever. Also, there's a really funny thing that I, I wanted to bring up, but I couldn't tell you because you didn't know yet that Nine was going to die. Mm. When uh, Ace and Clover and Nine scanned their hands, there wasn't a scanning thing for Nine. Hmm. Like, you don't see his hand. Oh, right. Because yeah, why even make an asset for his hand? That makes sense. <laughs> uh, Ace grabbed the lever. His face tight with determination, he turned over his shoulder. Turned over his shoulder to look at Junpei and his companions. Good boy. Be careful. That was too cheerful for her. Yeah. Be careful. Or whatever. Or something. Yeah. As Ace pulled the lever, the door swung open, the mouth of a great hungry beast. Nom, 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 nom. Beyond the door, Junpei knew lay the sad remains of the ninth man. It did not surprise him that Ace, Clover, and Seven hesitated. The bo that the body was not a pleasant thing. Ugh. His snake had no such problems as his blindness made him immune to the horror. He stepped through the door, his feet making a wet splack in the pool of blood. Yummy. Do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten. The door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? All right, shit, we forgot. The snake had not even bothered to turn around, but the other three steeled themselves and stepped through the door. Crunch. <gasps> door five swung shut, closing the heavy, the the heavy fine, closing with the heavy finality of metal upon metal. Junpei, had and his com Junpei and his companions scrambled to the door. Scrambled, yes. Scrambled, yes. Uh, they, <laughs> they pressed their ears to it in an attempt to hear what might be taking place on the other side. Beep, 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 beep. It, it's beeping. It's just like before. Uh, probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? They're probably dead. June's face showed her concern more plainly than her words ever could. Almost as though in response to her question, a voice rang out from the other side of the door. It was Seven. Hey, there it is. That's got to be dead thing. Come on, get over here. We got to authenticate. That's big word for not English speaker. Beep, beep. The beeping stopped. The sighs of relief were audible even through the heavy door. Oh, looks like it stopped. Junpei and his companions leaned away from the door and breathed a collective sigh of relief of their own. Hey guys, uh, are we are we doing all right over there? Are, are you doing all right over there, guys? They had heard Seven's voice, but it wouldn't hurt to be sure. Yeah, we're fine. Despite the, the recent danger, Clover's voice was as bubbly as ever. Oh hey, I'm gonna tell you something 
about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know, when the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. Awesome, uh, thanks. Uh, that helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. Uh, you be careful out there. Uh, Roger that. Back to number four. And back. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we don't have to. We could just chill here and just die in 7.5 hours. Sounds good, bye. <laughs> Jump in the others, and the and the others left... Oh, left door five and headed towards door four. You know they, what? I know... I don't know if I've talked about this in any of the Dongo Duo videos, but if I'm put in a life or death situation like this shit, oh. I'll just kill myself. <laughs> I, I'm gone. You're, you're terrible. I'm fucking you're terrible. gone. We've had the zombies, the zombie yeah. apocalypse talk. I I'm won't, like, I won't. Kitty, 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 you have to at least last for a couple episodes. I won't live through a zombie apocalypse. I'll die. Kitty, 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 kitty. I would rather off kitty, myself kitty, than kitty. have a zombie bite me. <laughs> I was going to say something really mean. <laughs> I, I'm saying the following just out of hilarity, okay? Mm -hmm. We all know in the rule book that disabled people get an extra safe check against zombie attacks, okay? They must, because otherwise how the yeah, fuck exact, do they live exactly. any further? So that's what I'm saying. It's like, Kitty, you will be fine, you <laughs> okay. know? Okay. I will die saving you, and then you will live on to tell my story. Or I'll kill myself right after. Kitty! <laughs> it all makes Don't sense Don't make now. my sacrifice. You're terrible. See, you I would just, like, be like, all right, Say guys. Say it so seriously. All right, guys, let me into the door. Explode me. Kitty. But we need you to get through their doors, you dummy. Nah. You're the worst. You're the worst. Just explode me. Oh my god, Kitty. <laughs> who will who will tell my story? Uh, place each of their hands upon it. That's beep, beep. that's such a beep, beep, beep. making it about beep, me beep, thing. Beep, I'm beep, terrible. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Just let me die. <laughs> More asterisks come back. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut to that am, uh, Animal Crossing bit. Yep. Appeared on the screen. Junpei grabbed the lever and turned around. Um, y y you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's go. None of them looked particularly optimistic, but their faces were set. Set to sad. Mm -hmm. Junpei nodded to them and turned back towards towards the red. All right. Let's go. Itakimasu. With strength and determination, he pulled the lever. Pull the lever. Hit the lever. Oh, uh, it's just a pachinko machine. God damn it, Silent Hill pachinko machine. Run! The four of them leapt through the door together. <gasps> There's a hallway. The moment they had passed through it, each heard a cold electronic sound coming from their left wrist. <laughs> In the center of each bracelet, a red skull. It's more like pink. That's more appeared. of a Danganronpa blood and, color. Yeah, where do you think Danganronpa got that? And began to flash. The detonator's countdown had begun. In the long moment that each of them spent staring at their wrists. Goodbye. They're locked in here now. <gasps> The number door behind them closed, the sound of metal and metal reverberating down the hallway. There was no way there was no way back now. They were committed if they could not find the device to deactivate their detonators. Uh, hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap, lady! Start looking! I already am, you fucking ingrate! <laughs> <laughs> they began to run, eyes looking frantically for the device that was the key to their salvation. It's probably at the end of the hallway. The hallway they found themselves running down was a long one, easily 300 feet in length. On the right side of it stood a series of wooden doors, all nearly identical. If they had been taken, if they had taken time to think, they would likely have discerned that the doors led to cabins. Oh, don't tell me the dead is in one of these rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Junpei was too frightened to count properly, but at his best, but his best guess, but at his best, at his best guess, there were seven or eight of them. I'm sorry if I stumbled on That's that. That's okay, that was a little confusing. Oh, fuck! There wasn't even time to think, to, to count them to be sure. Junpei ran to the nearest door. He grabbed the knob and shook it hard. By the way, they have 81 seconds. Mm. It wouldn't open. It didn't feel locked, more like someone had hammered an iron plate over the other side of the door. Junpei turned around to find another door, and saw that his companions had already run to doors of their own. They did not seem to be having any more success than he had. Oh, we're all gonna explode. Their own words confirmed his fears. 
Shit! This, one, this one's no good! Same here. It's not moving! Junpei was the last to speak up. As Junpei looked in her direction, his eyes caught something he hadn't noticed before. A small red light. It flashed at him dimly from the other uh, from the end of the hallway. Uh, that's it! Over there! Watch speed lines! Even as he yelled, he ran. He grabbed Santa, Locus, and, and June and pulled them towards the light. I almost picture him like just throwing them over his like shoulder. He's like, come on, gang! Sa Santa called out to them as he ran. Hey! How many seconds how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? God. Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that! God damn it! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! In all likelihood, Jumpy figured nearly a minute had already passed since the door had closed behind them. If that was true. Emergency for urgency foremost in all of their minds, they arrived at the end of the hallway. The dead sat on the left wall, blinking almost tauntingly at them. Hurry! Junpei grabbed hold of the machine, his uh, hands slick with sweat and shaking. Beep beep. He slammed his hand against the scanner panel. The other three quickly followed suit. Beep 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 beep. beep, beep. With a grunt, Santa janked the lever downwards. <gasps> We lived another day. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I almost died. Phew. Looks like it stopped. His hands beginning to steady, Junpei wiped away some of the sweat that had beaded on his forehead. As they cut their breath, the four companions began to look around. At the end of the hallway lay a heavy looking set of double doors. Set into the walls of the hallway on either side of the, of the larger door were two smaller ones. Mm. They all needed inspecting, but Junpei began with the largest of the three, the double doors. Oh. Mm -mm. Shit's locked. Yep. How many times had he come across similar doors, with similar results, he wondered. Or perhaps he corrected himself, more a lack of results. Mm. Whatever the reason, the door remained firm and unyielding, and refused to allow Junpei or anyone else passage. No, I just didn't like Junpei. Near that handle, near the handle was a small keyhole. Hmm. 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 Above the keyhole. So put your penis in it. Put, put your penis in it. Just mm. insert your penis in there. Who's got a small enough dick for that? <laughs> <laughs> Above the keyhole was a small symbol engraved in the brass. A uh, male? He wasn't quite sure what to make of it and stared at it for a, for a moment in confusion. It was June that corrected him, because she's the astrology major. Mm -hmm. No, that's the not the symbol for male. That's probably the symbol of Mars. I mean, it is the symbol for male and also Mars. Yes. Well, technically they are the same symbol, but, uh, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. The, the sun. Oh, yeah. Saturn. The Earth. And now, Mars. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the main symbol. It's the symbol. This is the man symbol. It's the symbol for Mars. I think so. Yes. While Junpei and Jun talked, Santa had disappeared somewhere. They turned to find him some distance down the hallway. He had gone to check the other doors. Eventually, he reached the last of them and jogged back. It took him only a moment to catch his breath again. <sighs> Here's the deal: none of the other fucking doors are open. So that must mean we only have two more doors. Lotus examined the doors on either side of the larger door, door, double door. Each of them had a metal plate attached to it. Jumpy figured there were probably room numbers. The door on the left read B92, and the door on the right proclaimed that it led to B93. Uh, all right, uh, let's open them. Yeah. Uh oh. Junpei put his hand on the doorknob, for th on the doorknob for the door that said Room 92. Mm. Santa moved to the door to Room 93. They had made it through the numbered door alive. There was nothing more to be afraid of. <laughs> Junpei and Santa looked at each other and nodded. One, two, three! In unison, they pushed against their respective doors. Oh. And promptly found themselves in a new room. June followed Junpei as he threw 
open his door. They turned around and saw that the door on the other side was open as well. Mm-hmm. Through the door was another person, his mouth agape. It was Santa. What? Hey, um, it opened! Um, yeah, it, it did. Junpei and Santa looked at each other. They had not expected the doors to yield so easily. Lotus' calm voice broke into their thoughts. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. <laughs> I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. As she headed for room 93, Lotus continued. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in here that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. Jinpei and June search the other one. All right. Okay. Hey. Jajang, jajang. You know what time it's what time it's for, right? Puzzle time. It's time. Oh, it's, there's oh my god, there's a lot of shit. It's time for puzzle dude. Seeking a way out. All right. Where puzzle am I, dude. Where am I now? Also, I have the paper and um, so you remember how to play this game, right? Examine shit. Uh. This is a funny painting. Also, this is like moments where uh, when you have people, they they'll be giving you their thoughts. That's mm. how you get their hands. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a kind of weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant nose. What does this look like to you? Looks like a, a cross. I, I I see a cross, yeah. And a ghosty, a ghost doggy. Yeah. Like there's some ears and a tail. Yeah. And this looks like the Grim Reaper or something also coming out of a cross. Also, June. Sucking on a human's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I would mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. God damn it. Uh, What's this? Oh no, you have to uh, oh, right. step out. Uh, it's a black woman sign. It looks like there's some sort of. Oh, oh are we done? Yes. Maybe we'll do just a little bit more inspecting. Uh, right, the touch screen uh, is this bottom it, one. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes you jump. Also, is it Vase or Voss? I forgot how it's that pronounced. V uh, either or. This vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. <laughs> I love the expression of like, we're gonna fucking sell this shit. I'm gonna steal this shit. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> uh, maybe. How about this door? Uh, jumpy. Um, that's oh. me. <laughs> Why did I just jump to that? I don't know. Jumpy, wh where are you going? Um, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Do you think that maybe we could look around a little bit more before you go? There's a lot for me to do here all by myself. Oh, that's yeah, Jim, they try to help. You know what? We're gonna see. Where this room takes us. Mm -hmm. And the other room, because guess what? This is a double puzzle. Whoa, 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 That's whoa. That's too many puzzles. No, you don't even know. And now the the, the baby, the baby, yeah, the baby gloves are off. Mm. The baby gloves the are baby off. baby gloves. Shut up. <laughs> we'll see how you deal with these puzzles. But hey, we'll see where this takes mm -hmm. us in the next episode. For the time being, you know the usual. Come back tomorrow for some more Dango Duo 999 goodness. Yeah. Leave comments. We reply to all comments. And we hope to see you. Next puzzle. Kitty's so excited. Puzzle. And you just can't hide it. Yep, so excited to fail at puzzles.